Stand our feet and welcome the great man of God. Beautiful. Amen. Shikabakura bakashikete. I reduce the volume. It's not too much. Pura bababa shikete yaba. Can you reduce the volume, please? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Keep on reducing it, please. Shikaba korobo kusukutoya. Thank you. That's it. Shibababa kubariga da makuria. Rebababa. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. Mabura mabaha. Ibabobobo shikabura bakuskeri gede. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Ibashikaburia. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Awesome God. Church, begin to appreciate him. This is our month. I don't know who said this thing. The, the sound, I don't like it, please. Shabaragado. Rigado Korea. Is it possible you add a bit of bass and reduce the, 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 whatever. whatever. Is it Twitter or what? Treble or what? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It sounds like uh, a Jezebel voice. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Something better. Amen. Reduce it a bit. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you. I think it's okay. Poor robot. Let's just begin to thank God. If you know you can thank God enough for what he has done for you, then God has not done anything for you. If you think you can thank him enough for what he has done for you, church, I'm here to assure you that God has not done anything for you. He has not done anything for you. He has not done anything for you. Shabrakamoko sokutu yabaha. Limba baba baba kubaku legedea. Kurie kike makarabaha. Shanda la bahumba legada. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, we cannot thank you enough. Holy Ghost, where's my Holy Ghost, we cannot. Can you pick it to another one? Shabaraga durabu shambalaga. Baba shikabura bahara baba. Ribraka to put it back here. Rubu shiba baba. Kiti kere mo shiba raga demo kuria kura baba riba baba kurekete shikere gede what is this shabra katoro mo kuri baba rimba kuskere gede ya barugudo ya kuriye baba ba shumba laga da libra kato ya ba kuskere gede ya shibre gede bo shembo logo do raba ba kure bo kushikete ya baha thank you Jesus thank you Lord thank you Jesus. There is none like unto thee. None can be compared with you. Increase it a bit. Shabakura baha. Rebabo shabakaria. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. She baragadoro bo kori barababa shikaboria. She brakatoro bo shamba lagad. Ibrakata ya bakuske brekete ya bokusto kete ya. Kira ba shumba lagada makuria. Hibaba shaba ragada makuria. Kere bo shikete ya bahanda la baba. Libra kato ya bashi baba. Thank you Jesus. Lord we thank you. 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 Thank you Jesus. Amen. Amen, church. Are you blessed? You may be seated. How many of us enjoyed the all-night program? Were you blessed? If I ask you to share with me one or two things you learned from the all-night, will you be able to tell me? One or two things that can make you say that you enjoyed the honor, that you were blessed. 
Can I have a witness in the house? Did we just enter Saturday and Sunday and forgot what happened in your night? I talked about the fear of God, wisdom. The fear of God, which is wisdom. Wisdom. And Solomon said, this is the conclusion of the whole matter. Anyway, I pray that the Holy Ghost, the Bible says, will remind, he will put to remembrance, he will bring to remembrance all. I want to still continue with the topic that I've been teaching. The attributes of Jephthah. I've done exposition on it, commitment in disappointment. And I did sub-topic under commitment in disappointment, control not by the past without losing his kinship. Jephthah was a man that knew how to unshackle himself from the past without losing the memory. You know, Abishab Bessie that also said that, I mean, Margaret Bessie that also that forgiveness is not lost of memory. It doesn't mean that uh, everything will be wiped away. But it's remembering without seeking for vengeance. Remembering to bless. Remembering to avoid what happened so that it will not happen again. Because if it is a memory loss, the mistake will still repeat again. Does that make sense? So Jephthah was a man, one of his great attributes. Anything that happens in the past, look at how his brothers, his family members, when their father died, they came to him and said, you are not, our father impregnated a prostitute. That's how you came into this family. You are not qualified to be a member. You will not. But I'm here to tell you that most of the people that have changed the world today, their foundation is also always like Jephthah's zone. Why? Because the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7, that we have this treasure in earthly vessel. God will always use earthly vessel, carnal thing, things, because God likes hiding things. He likes hiding things. He takes the treasure. Look at a mighty man of valor. When the Bible started in Judges chapter 11, verse 1, he said Jephthah was a mighty man. But his people were not seeing him because the mother was a harlot. Many people, I was just sharing with my wife today. I said, it's not boasting. I have not failed in anything, in anything I started pursuing since God called me. He checked my life. It's, not a, it's open. It's an open book, open secret. I was a youth. One day we were asked to come and say, what are your visions? You know, all the youth come out. What, what, every one of you say your vision. Everyone was saying, I'll buy a car, I'll buy this, I'll buy that, I'll buy that. As stupid as I am and as I used to be. And foolish. Thank God that God uses the foolish things of this earth. That a little bit qualifies me. I came out. Everybody was, my bishop was listening, Bishop Basile Dohasem. Everybody, were, they were listening and they were waiting. Idika, we know Idika, his own will always be abstract. And it was abstract. It wasn't what other people were saying. Far back as 1990 something, as a youth, I said, my greatest vision is to plant church of God mission where no other church of God mission, where church of God mission has never been planted. As foolish and as stupid. And when I said it, they laughed at me. They say, we are talking about houses. We are talking about doing something. I say, I'm telling you, that's my only passion. I have seen this man called Abishab. He doesn't have ten heads. I want to plant church of commission. God had it. They laughed at me. When I saw my wife, I've never met her in life before. I was on three days dry fasting. And she came the first day I saw her where I was fasting. Because I was in my friend in, in her in her, her in-law's house, who was my friend. 
He, she came the second day. She came the third day, begging me to eat. I said, sweetheart, <laughs> I said, what kind of man do you want to marry? I said, I'm your husband. She ran away. I met her the first time in my life in August. And people that knew me when I told them the story, even my senior, even minister, even my bishops, they laughed at me. Now your, your life is going to be destroyed. That was why mama stopped. That was what they told. That was what, what Bishop Edo has him told. Told Abishom Magabese Dahosa. He said he just went to Lagos and saw, I don't know whether she's Lagos, uh, Lagos uh, uh, prostitute. He came and said he want to marry. That was why mama said, no, I will not allow him to marry this woman. They taught me faith. I practiced faith. And when I came home, I said, this is my wife. Where do you, I met her in Lagos. For the first time, he took her, no. I'm telling you, I, be, I dare to bet you, I don't think there's anybody that is enjoying his marriage the way I'm enjoying it in church of God mission. Even among those bishops that stopped my wedding. That is how my life has been. Many men, what they are praying for their wife to be having, my wife has it 100%. One million times. In fact, if they want, let them come and ask my wife to give them small. I have never, they, they will always laugh at me. They will always call me name, but at last, I, it will be the best. Everything that's not in one. I was going, I'm go, I was going, I told them, I came to D of Church of Commission. I said, I'm going to Malaysia. I'm going to start Church of Commission. He laughed at me. He said, People that went there and did PhD, they say you can't succeed. This is an open secret. When I got, I came to Australia, Bishop David Ezenabo called me, insulted my mother, insulted my father, insulted everything, and said, You are not educated. You can never succeed in Australia. You are a foolish man. You are a stupid boy. Bishop David Azanabo, he called me to be precise on the 20th of September, 2010. In fact, I was the one that called me. He called me, I said, call me. And I, he insulted me, insulted my father, insulted everything about me, insulted Igbo people, insulted everything, and said, you can never, you say, you, do you think Australia is Malaysia? We are stupid and foolish people like you who can plant a church. See, you can never. What, mommy, what I'm talking about, he insulted me for more than one hour with my own credit. But that became my bedrock. I say, if I will not surprise anybody in this life, I will surprise only Bishop Ezenabo. I will show him that God can use, still use foolish things. I'm talking about building 20,000 seater church again in Australia. I'm talking about building a, an academy in Nigeria, in my community, from kindy to university. Watch out. The God that have not allowed me to fail. Why? God uses the foolish things. He always put the treasure in earthly vessel, in useless things, to confuse people because he likes hiding things. Mention one project where I have failed. Mention it. One project. Since God called me till now. Every project. Yet when people look at me, they call me them. They say this. They say, That's how the Bible said, you may hear the sound. But you don't know where it's coming and where it's going. He said, that is how somebody that is filled with the Holy Spirit. That was Jephthah. In Church of God Mission, there's no international, there's no any international pastor that have ever done what I've done. One, I hosted a bishop. We spent the whole money. They didn't spend one money in transportation. That was number one. Number two, none of the international front pastors in Church of God Mission has ever planted churches in another place. I'll give you one to, that you check. Check Church of God Mission Philippines. And Japan. Investigate it. Investigate Philippines. 
Starting in two countries. It's only Pastor Joseph. I'm trying to tell you the attribute of Jephthah. They will tell you, they will, you know, when they, don't, when they don't know what to use to destroy you, they will start digging your past. Your mother was a prostitute. <laughs> Is he not that boy that used to beat his mother? <laughs> Is he not that criminal? <laughs> Is he, when they know they can't, get, they can't stop you, they go to your past. And he came to Jephthah. You see, your mother was a prostitute. You can't share anything. Yet, Jephthah, do you know Jephthah had the strength to tell his bro- to finish his brothers? You just call one of his boys, maybe the one that has a, the, the terminator among them. He said, just finish them. He said, ta 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 ta. And he will take everything. But he said, no, I'm a lamb to my family. That's how Jesus, Jesus was a lamb. But the devil cannot near him. <laughs> I'm a lion to the enemy. I'm a lamb to my family. You see the people, every, anyone that is ever saying, he's a, he, I don't like him, he's just that, 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 that. That person is an enemy. <laughs> because what they see in you is lion. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha. That's all they see in you. But those that love you, they see you as a lamb. It's not about you. It's about them. It's about who. Are you getting the point? Huh? They have to say, no, you are my brothers. All my gift. Everything I have is for me to look after you. Now that our parents have died, I'm the one in charge now. He knows. He knew. And I'm here to tell you, even when Jephthah went afar, he was still asking for his brothers. How are they? I hope nothing has attacked them. Nothing. And when the enemy came to destroy them, and they ran to Jephthah, and they say, our brother, we are sorry. Is it not time for you to come and help us? He said, what is the problem? He said, we have an enemy that wants to destroy us. Really? You? Who is that? He says, so. so. Say, can you come back? When our parents died, we knew you were the only one to protect us. Can you come and protect us? Can you come and take back your place? Do you know what he did? He forgave, but he did not lose his memory. And he said, this time around, I'm going to make it so that they will not insult me again. I will, I will fight against the enemy, bring back what belongs to you, but never again will you look at my face. And tell me that my mother was a prostitute. You will never dig my past again. And church, what happened? Jephthah said, let's go. The Bible says in verse 11, what happened? Are you there? Judges chapter 11, verse 11. Today I'm talking on the topic. I want to deal on the topic. Let me get my... Today I'm dealing on the topic... Confidence in danger. Confidence. Let me tell you, church. The first one is what? Control not by the past. I've challenged you this morning, church. I've challenged you. Go, go investigate everything about me. This is my wife. Solomon said, I have searched 1,000 with my brain. I didn't find one good one. What was Solomon saying? He was saying the only one that can give a good wife is God. Proverbs 19, verse 14. A prudent wife, a good wife is from Jehovah. And I was three days dry fasting. I said, God said, this is my wife. And they laughed at me. They remembered my past. Look at my marriage. Church, do you think I can pretend about it? Maybe I'm sitting on stone or on fire. And I'll be, every time you ask me, Pastor, how are you? Awesome. I can't, I can't pretend about it. If God has not helped me to get the right kingdom. I'm in my kingdom. I'm celebrated, honored, loved, pampered. Even they call me baby. A man that is 46 years old. 
baby, how are you, baby? Igwe. I said, come and take milk, milk, feed the bottle and put it in my mouth, not only calling me baby. <laughs> are you getting what I'm saying? I've never failed in anything since God called me. I've never. I've never failed in one project. I came before Archbishop Margaret Bessie I said, I'm going to plant a God mission, Malaysia. Look at it. When I succeeded and they saw the speed, and saw the wisdom, and saw that the God's hands. No, man. I thought the commission is coming back to me. They will come back to me. Forget it. But when they come, <laughs> like Jephthah, <laughs> I can't, they can't call my mother a prostitute any longer. They can't call me an evil man any longer. <laughs> they will call me a son of our bishop. Are you getting what I'm saying? A seed of that great man. Hey, Dikano, we love you. We know you are a seed of Abisha Bessie uh, Dahosa, but you are an Igbo man. You are not a Bini man. So there's nothing you will do that makes sense in Church of God Mission. That's nonsensical piece of radical nonsense. Do you know why? Because it is not man's kingdom. It is the kingdom of God. It is the body of Christ. Anyone God has made the choice, that person stays. Anyone God did not choose, he will fare or she will fare. Are you there? 11 11. What happened? Then chapter. Three things happened in that scripture. Three things. And I want us to grab it in that one verse. Remember, what is the topic tonight, today? Subtopic today. The attributes of Jephthah is the second one. This is the second one I'm dealing with. I've dealt with the first one. The first one is commitment in danger, which the subtopic is control not by the past without losing his. This one is confidence. Confi did I say, what did I say? Commitment in what? No, commitment in disappointment. Commitment in his commitment in disappointment. Now this one is confidence in danger. Now read verse 11. Then Jephthah, then Jephthah went with the elders of Gilead. He went with the elders. The now he went. Yes. And the people made him head. He first of all took back his kingship. Are you getting it? Are you getting it now? Immediately, Jephthah went back. These were the people that threw him out. It means when the father died, the next person that was supposed to be in charge was Jephthah. But because the people could not destroy him, they cannot kill him, he was stronger than them, they dug his parts and used his past against him. He said, your mother was a prostitute. They casted him out. Now they needed him because there's no way God's prosperity, the foundation is peace and protection. So if you don't have peace and you don't have protection, yes, you, you will never prosper. Because God has to guide the one you have already gathered. Otherwise, because every time profit and loss, profit and loss, you will never make profit. Are you, I get what I'm saying now. So a time came when they needed peace. They wanted to control the peace they have, but no protection. They needed somebody to come and offer that protection. And Jephthah was the person. So they came to Jephthah and said, Jephthah, please help us. This is our problem now. We have this peace, our father's inheritance, but we don't have protection. Some people are coming to take it away from us. But you are our own. You are, in fact, the leader. Come and, and Jephthah came and said, first off, give me back the leader. Make me your king first. Make me your leader. He has forgiven, but he didn't lose his kingship. Don't be so stupid when people deal with you and insult you. And when they say forgive. And you will not make a way so that that thing will not repeat again. That was what Jephthah did. So that they will not insult. You can't tell me when they insulted you, didn't pain you. It pained you. But you are trying now to turn the pain into gain. You are trying now not, not to allow the pain to become a hurt. So you have to be wise. Let me tell you something. If you are passing through a road... And a dog will bite you the first time. People will say, sorry, oh, sorry, oh. But if you are passing the same road again and the same dog will bite, beat you, people will say, you are foolish. You are very, very stupid. The same people that said, sorry, oh, you pass the road and the same dog beat you. That dog, you know, the dog teeth is like this. And he's always looking for somebody to bite. Hey! It was out of ignorance. He didn't know. You will see, they will send you to hospital. Pay your bill. 
But if you pass the same road again, the same dog beat you, and you come, hey, yeah. they will kick you and say, that dog will kill you. You are a stupid man. That was what Jephthah avoided. I've passed this road before. I will not. He said, give me my kinship first. Don't be too stupid as a Christian and allow things to keep on happening in your life. The first time the beat dog beat that man, they say that dog is mad. The second time, they now say the man is mad. Does that make sense? The first time the dog beat the man, they say the dog is mad. The second time the dog beat the man, they now say the man is mad. I'm trying to make three points from this one verse. Jephthah said, go. I need my kinship fed. Remember our topic, confidence in danger. He's piling up something. He's taking a risk. Jephthah is taking a risk. He has not yet won the battle. But he said, make me your leader first. And they went. Where did they make him his leader? The leader. Great. And the people made him head. Uh -huh. And captain over them. Uh -huh. And Jephthah uttered all his words before the Lord. He's in mis 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 No, no, look at it. The same people that insulted him. The same people that called him them, he's now their leader. Power has changed hand. The Bible said it was like a dream. Said it was like a dream for the captivity of Israel to turn. It was the elders. They went before the Lord, number two. They went before the Lord and entered into covenant and said, you are now our leader. It can never be broken again forever. Now, what was the next thing? Can somebody get it for me? Can somebody preach for me? Yes. And this is why he has confidence in danger. In the same verse, there are three things I told you happened there. One, Jephthah took back his king. The people went before the Lord and make him elder and agree with God. Then what was the third thing? Read it now. It's the end of the Bible. Preach it for me. Anybody. The same verse, three things happened there. And Jephthah went with the elders. They gave him back his kingship. And they went before the Lord. And agreed with, Je with God, with him before the Lord. There was an agreement. Number, what's the third thing? The last statement there, read it. And Jephthah uttered all his words before the Lord in Mizpah. What does that mean? What happened? Can you explain the, the, this attribute? Why, what, what was his confidence in danger? Is it God? God is his confidence. Look at what he did. Now think about, let's just, let me, let, let's just use our, let's brainstorm our brain. If you lost your kinship like Jephthah, and you know it's too important. And you know that's the only reason God created you. But you can't fight your own people. Samson, it happened to Samson. When the Philippians wanted to kill him, he said, don't touch me, my brothers. You have the power to kill me. But leave me with the people God has created me to fight and destroy. Yes, they are not a problem. And Jephthah got back his kinship. Remember, there is this great battle before him. What would you have done? If you get back your kinship, what will you do? In the same verse, I'm looking at it. It's one of his attributes. Is it prayer maybe? Prayer, okay. It's not just prayer. Have you not seen something about this man in this verse? His confidence in danger. This is a sign of born again. He has no life. Immediately he got the kingship, the first place he ran to before God. Immediately he got back. He said, God, you create this was the reason you called me. 
For the past 20 years, they took this away from me. They have lied against me. They have conspired against me. Now, just take example. Let's say now, there is a challenge. Let's say with church or God mission. And practically, tomorrow, and God put it in my hand to solve that problem. And the first thing they did, and they said, the DA said, or the, the person in charge of us said, why are we wasting our time? Have you not been seen, I, Idika, Idika, is he not our son? You see him with the prime minister every time. You see him all over the world. You see him, God, using him for doing great things. This guy, within only one finger, he will solve this problem for us. Why are we still delaying? Why can't we humble ourselves? Why? Have you not seen him? If he wasn't in love, if he wasn't concentrated on church of God mission, he would have broken away. But upon all he has passed through, but upon all the insult, but upon all the conspiracy, but upon everything, he's still carrying the flag of church of God mission. Why are we still waiting? And one of them will say, I know him, I know him, let me just get his number and call him. Hello, Idika. He said, what is it? Um, this approval, this, that, that, that. Okay, my friend is in charge. We can do it. Pam, 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 pam. I'll call him now. Pam. Merely he did that. Do you know what? He went back to God and said, Lord, can I ever thank you enough for giving me an opportunity to serve my brothers again? Can I ever appreciate you enough to continue from what my father instructed me to do? Are you getting what I'm saying? But ordinarily, somebody that is proud of living in himself will start, this is time I'm going to deal with you. <laughs> I will show you Pepe. You will know you are. He said, no, no, no. You are still in charge. You are still in charge of this. You are still, but you are the head. What is your own? No, it's not. My call is to make sure you're happy. And I see you like this. And I see you like that. And I see, what? Jephthah only doesn't take... Jephthah, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 19, if your hope is serving Christ, all your hope is what you get on earth. You see, you are of all men most miserable. Jephthah had no intention of getting anything from this. There's no intention. Immediately he got back. He went back to God and said, God, what next? His confidence in danger. That was his confidence. Remember, he was going to face danger. But the only confidence he had was in God. Jephthah was saying, God, even as you have told me that I'm supposed to continue from where my father stopped, now that my people have taken it away, you didn't call me to kill them. I am ready, whatever you want me to do. God said, wait. I shall overturn. I shall overturn. And I shall overturn the third time. After the third time, that which belongs to you shall come back to you. And when it happened, Jephthah did not have gotten it. He went back. Ramaha, Shandalabaha, Hilabababa. This did not happen because I'm Jephthah. This did not happen because I'm strong. This never happened because Akadia. Leya handa handa ya. Yeah, 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 yeah. More rebel. What next, Lord? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What next? Without you, I'm going nowhere. Without you, I will fail. Without you, I will die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Immediately. He didn't seek any advice. He didn't even do any party. I have regained my kingdom. Let's go and party. It means he was waiting. And say, God, when are you going to do this? When are you going to finish it? And when God did it, he went back to God. Because why? He is the Alpha and Omega. He was the one that began it. He's the one that will finish it. Jephthah relied 100% on God. His confidence in danger was Jehovah. And look at what happened. After he has finished. So prayer was not a last resort for Jephthah. Prayer was what? The first thing and everything. Jesus started with prayer. Ended with prayer. See some people that are great. They don't make do any longer with prayers. Prayer doesn't mean anything any longer to them. Because they are mighty men. But this man, his mightiness 
is from the Lord. It's not by mind, not by power, but by the Spirit of the Lord. Have you gotten that? Now, this was why he was unshakable. The Bible says those things that cannot be shaken will remain. Those things that cannot be shaken. I, I, can you read Hebrew chapter 12, verse 27, please? Don't close that place, yes? Yes, verse 27. And this word, yet once more, signified the moving of those things that are shaken, mm. as of things that are made. And that those things which cannot be shaken mm. may remain. Mm. You see now, church, are you getting it now? If you cannot be shaken, you remain. It's only those things that can be shaken that will not remain. Continue. Now start to go back to uh, see what happened. Fe Jephthah did not consult any man. Jephthah had allies. You know what it means, allies? Um, allies. Yeah, it should be allies, the pronunciation, but I know what I'm talking about. You know what I've, it's like America, uh, uh, Australia is one of their allies, whether alias or alias. Englishman, what do you see? Is it what they call, it? Australia is one of Americans' allies. Is how do you pronounce it in Australia? Allies. You see, you listen to him. Can you say it again so that we learn? Yes. It's one of their allies. It means whatever they are doing, they are lined together to do it. They always come together. Don't mind my Nigerian English in pronouncing it. Thank God you know the meaning. Alas, you know, don't mind Nigerian English, you know. So Je Jephthah had many. But he never went to them. He went to God first. And look at what happened when he now went to one of his allies. Come, read. And Jephthah sent messengers unto the king of, of the children of Ammon, mm -hmm. saying, mm -hmm. what has thou to do with me? Mm -hmm. That thou art come against me to fight in my land. Mm -hmm. And the king of the children of Ammon answered unto the messenger mm -hmm. of Jephthah. Yes. Because Israel took away my land when they came up out of Egypt. Okay. From Aaron, even unto Je Jebob. Okay. And unto Jordan. Okay. Now therefore restore those lands against, again peacefully. This was the inheritance of the father of Jephthah. These people came to took it, came to take it. Continue. And Jephthah sent messengers again unto the king of the children of Ammon, mm -hmm. and said unto him, Yes, thou saved Jephthah. Israel took not away the land of Moab, nor the land of the children of Ammon. But when Israel came up from Egypt and walked through the wilderness unto the Red Sea and came to Kadesh, then Israel sent messengers unto the king of Edom. Now saying, listen, now he's talking to his allies. Now. now listen now, I, I have a lot to explain in his interaction with the king of Ammon. Who was coming against them. Now Jephthah was well read. He knew, he wasn't just um, among those pastors that were motivational teachers. They will tell you what is in the Bible. They will not tell you how to achieve it. They will tell you, they only read the Bible for you. <laughs> Have you seen David become the king? You can become the king. I prophesy, become the king. I prophesy. Motivational speakers. What were the things David did? You knew that David was not interested in that kingship. If you read the whole Bible. It's explained in John chapter, I mean Psalms chapter 78, from verse 70 to 72. You knew that David was not. What happened? He was looking after his fathers. He was keeping that which was little. And then God saw his heart in keeping that which was little and gave him now the bigger one. And said, the way he's looking after his father's sheep, the way he's interested, even when I offered him to be a king, to leave the sheep, he, he was not interested. They anointed him to be king. And when they finished, he said, what is this? He said, it's oil. It means you are a king now. He said, have you finished? He used his handkerchiefs and wiped the oil. And said, I'm going back to the, my sheep. And God said, come to the king, to the palace. He said, I'm not coming. God now have to make King Saul mad. 
to bring David. Even when David came, Saul wanted to kill him. He said, I told you, God, that I don't belong there. He went, it was God that was forcing him to become the king. And when motivational speakers want to tell you, ah, don't you know you are the David of your generation? Just jump into the king. Jump. You have to kill Goliath. You have to be faithful with your father's sheep first. You have to kill bear. Kill liar. Before you sit on that seat. And that's what we do here. That's what I learned from my father, Abishab. He doesn't just tell you what is in the Bible. He tells you how to achieve it. He explains to you why the reason why is there. He explains to you everything. So Jephthah was read. He said, what you're talking about belongs to us. We never took your land. And because the gathering is not of God, he shall not stand. His confidence in danger. He didn't shake. He didn't mismount. He sent word to them. I said, why are you coming to take our inheritance? They said it belonged to us. He said it didn't belong to you. It's our father's inheritance. And that's why God created me. That's why God raised me. And when Jephthah finished, he sent a message to here to his ally, Edom, and say, come, read it. Let's read that and conclude. Then, then they went along through the wilderness. No, no, which verse? He start from 17. Start from the beginning again. Then Israel sent messengers unto the king of Edom, mm -hmm. saying, let me, I pray thee, pass through the, thy land. But the king of Edom would not hearken unto therefore. Mm -hmm. And in like manner, they sent unto the king of Moab, but he would not consent. And Israel abode in Kadesh. All their alias, because Ammon was terrible. Ammon was the one in charge. They were like, you know, the, the world, you know, the people that were ruling the world. Continue. You continue. Yep. Then they went along through the wilderness. Uh -huh. Compassed. And compassed the land of Edom uh -huh. and the land of Moab uh -huh. and pitched on, this, on the other side of Aaron, mm -hmm. Arnon, but came not within the border of Moab. Uh -huh. For Arnon was the border of Moab. Okay. And Israel sent messengers unto Shinon, uh -huh. king of the Amorites, uh -huh. the king of Hashbron. Uh -huh. And Israel said unto him, Can we pass through? Let us pass. We pray thee through thy land into my peace, my place. And Shion trusted not Israel to pass through his coast. Mm -hmm. But Shion gathered all his people together and pitched in Jahaz and fought against Israel. And fought against Je Jephthah was going to fight his enemy. He wanted to move with his allies, all uh, whatever. They all disappointed him because of the, 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 ter the terror of, the con of Ammon. They rejected every one of even one of them became against Jephthah. If the Ammon heard that you passed through my land, if they heard that we agreed with you when you were coming to fight them, they will come up. This would have made Jephthah to give up. This would have made would, there are so many things you don't know about Jephthah. There are so Jephthah knew when deep he's calling on to deep. He knows what to do, he knows that you don't need to. Jephthah knew. No, no, he said, this is not an ordinary fight. This is not another. All my, Edom, Moab, now look at this one. Instead of them just saying no, they now came to fight me. Look at what, read it. And, and, the, Lord, and the Lord God of Israel delivered Shion and all his people into the hand of Israel. Uh -huh. And they smote them. So Israel... So Israel possessed all the land of, Amorite, of the Amorites, the inhabitants of that country. Mm -hmm. And they possessed all the coast of the Amorites from Ammon, Arnon, even unto Jabob, mm. and from the wilderness even unto Jordan. Uh -huh. So now the Lord God of Israel had dis dispossessed the Amorites before, before his people, Israel. Mm -hmm. And shouldest thou possess it, would not thou possess that which Sh Shemosh... Thy God give thee to possess. Yep. So whomsoever the Lord our God shall drive 
out from before us. Mm-hmm. Them will we possess. Mm. And now art thou anything better than Balak, the son of Zippor, king of Moab? Did he ever ch- strive against Israel? Mm. Or did he ever fight against them? Mm. While Israel dwelt in Hezbron, in her, in her towns, and in Ar- Arora, something like that. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Continue. In her towns, mm. and in all the cities that belong along, wait, yeah, that be along thy, by the coast of Aaron, three hundred years. Why therefore, and ye, why therefore did ye not recover them within that time? Mm. Wherefore I have not sinned against thee, but thou dost me wrong to war against me. Mm. The Lord be, the Lord judge. May the Lord be judged. He said, I'm not going to fight you, Ammon. Now, remember before fighting Ammon, what happened? All the people that were in agreement with him rose against him. Oh, if it is people of our time now, and they say, no, no, this is not a good sign. Pastor, 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 we, we are good with Assemblies of God. We are good with Catholic. Now that they are saying, uh, uh, no, 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 pastor, you are not doing the right thing. Jephthah, confidence in danger. I've been there. I'm not just preaching to you what I'm reading, but I've been there. I've been in a fight where everybody, everybody against me. I said, but why is my spirit not perturbed? The only confidence I have is the spirit of God in me. I've been there. I know, how, I know what I'm talking about. You are about to make a move. God has given you. Remember, the minute they gave him that kingship, the first thing he went was to inquire from the Lord. His confidence in danger is Jehovah. And because Jehovah has said it, it doesn't matter who is against you. Look at it. Keep on reading, son. The Lord, the judge, be judged this day between this between the children of Israel and the children of Ammon. How bid the king of the children of Ammon hearken not unto the words of Jephthah? What's the verse are you now? 28. Now, everybody, are you ready? Are you ready to see his confidence? Are you ready to see his, the one that fights for him? 29. Mm-hmm. Then the... Hey! Hey! Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Look at the confidence. It wasn't mentioned when the people were backing at him. When his ally disappointed him. The Holy Spirit, it, it, it wasn't mentioned that the Holy Spirit came upon him. It was after he has passed through. He was tested in this journey. He didn't give up. Ammon, you are not going with me. I mean, Moab, you are not going with me. Edom, you are not going with me. No, you don't, oh, no worries. I'm going. He was tested. Confidence in danger. When the real fight now came, the person that owns the fight, the person that he baladea, he got the alabakura mahayagada. Let's just finish that one and close. Then we start from the other side, next one. What? 29, and you just stop. Then the spirit of the Lord came upon Jephthah, and he passed over Gilead and Manash. And passed over Misav of Gilad. And from Misav of Gilad, he passed over into the, the children, children of Ammon. Church, stand Ammon. up. Your helper is coming. In that battle, in that, let me tell you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Idika. If you will go and preach the message of faith. I gave your father Benshini Dahosa. If you will take it beyond borders, I'll give you double. Idika, my problem is not that I have raised people. I have already raised people, but the problem is the people have raised to take this message further. They are sharing the inheritance of Abishabeth. They are claiming they are struggling. They are fighting. 
This house belong. Idahosa was my brother. Idahosa was my wife. Idahosa was my husband. Idahosa was my in-law. This house belongs to me. This microphone belongs to me. This car belongs to me. This department belongs to me. My children will inherit this house. My, he said, that's the problem I'm having. The people that are supposed to expand CGMI Global are struggling and fighting. Idika, can you go and carry this message of faith across the borders of Africa? Take it to any nation that I will take you to. Just like Jephthah. Along the way, all my allies, the people that were supposed to support me, they disappointed me. I said, God, I can't do this any longer. He said, they will still throw stone at you. They will even take your boat, but they can't kill you. I will put you in a position that when you speak once, the whole world will hear it. Don't preach gimmicks. Don't preach experience. Don't preach culture. Don't preach tribalism. Don't do politics. Preach Jesus the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And I will finish it. That was the story of Jephthah. Confidence in danger. Remember, commitment in disappointment. Now, confidence in danger. He saw dangers. He saw things. Can I tell you one thing? Before the Holy Spirit took over 100%, Jephthah lost all his strength. That was what Jesus, God told uh, Paul. In 12, 13, 2 Corinthians, he said, in your weaknesses, my strength is made perfect. When he was fighting other ones, Holy Ghost was watching. I told you, is Holy Ghost come to the third level, third stage? He was walking. When he now saw his fruit, in 29, the Bible said, the spirit of the Lord. Jephthah, go and rest. I will finish it. Your helper is on the way. Church, I'm here to tell you, my helper visited me, came to my family, came to my rescue in 2015. And my helper is the one doing it now. Your helper is coming. Your days of struggling is over. Nothing will ever shake you any longer. Your confidence in danger shall be so solid, shall be as solid as the word of God. The same God that said, let there be light. He's saying your helper is coming. Look at Jephthah. He didn't give up until his helper came. And when his helper came, and that's the real war. That's the main battle. What are the things trying to stop you? They are nothing. If you will persevere, if you will keep on pushing like Jephthah, if you will keep on forgiving, if you will keep on loving, Another thing Jephthah did not do. Jephthah did not. You will see the next, the next, the next topic. He, Jephthah never said, what belongs to you, I will take it because you insulted me. He gave more. He loved more. He forgave more. He served more. And God took over. And look at it today. It is no more Jephthah's battle. You know when the Holy Ghost takes over, the whole thing is finished. Holy Ghost is taking over your problem. Anything that has ever kept you crying in your bed, it doesn't matter whether sickness, whether problem, no matter what it is, today Holy Ghost is taking over. Today Holy Ghost is taking over. Today Holy Ghost is taking over. And your testimony shall be the God that began it has finished it. Church, lift up your hand. Lord, I thank you for these ones. I glorify your name for O God. What you are about to do in this month of June. Our moon to manifest the fear of God. Many will see the wisdom that comes. That comes with fearing God. And they know you, they will know you called us. Lord, we are still on the attributes of Jephthah. We have seen, oh God, his commitment in disappointment. When people disappoint him, when things disappoint him, when he's supposed to be the next king. And the family said no because they dug the, they, they, they dug the past and found out that his mother was a prostitute. And said, you have no legitimate right. 
But when you restore the captivity, when you restore what they stole, he never went celebrating or doing party. He went back to you and said, what you promised has come to pass. What next? He said, go. I have given you the children of Ammon. When he was about to go, he made the first obstacle, Edom. He made the second obstacle, Moab. He made the third obstacle, Lord, he didn't give up. Even the third obstacle wanted to kill him, but he never gave up. Abishab Bessie, that was I said, the storm may take your boat. The storm may take your boat, but the storm will not take your life. It doesn't matter whether the storm has taken your life. One day, God shall appear. God is appearing in your case. God is appearing in your case. God is appearing in your case. And Holy Ghost took over. Holy Ghost is taking over. From now to the day you meet with the Lord Jesus Christ. Every of you. Look at us. Look at what is happening in our family. Look at what is. We waited. We waited for the storm. The battle was raging. We never gave up. Look at it. God said, Edika, now I know. The Bible said the angel cried from heaven the second time in 22 verse 15 of uh, uh, 22 verse 15 of Genesis. He said, now I know Abraham for the second time. That will be your testimony. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May the Lord give you peace beyond your understanding. May the Lord cause everything around you to prosper. You, nothing will die around you. You shall live and not die. You shall testify that the Lord is good in the land of the living. Your family shall celebrate you. And the trees of the field shall clap for you. In the name of Jesus, when you pass, they will know that somebody anointed has passed. To you be all the glory, Jesus. To you be all the honor for what you have done and concluded in our lives. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Even as we share the Lord's Prayer. I mean, our, the grace.